Hey guys, good morning. <sighs> Welcome back to another vlog. I am literally just sitting here with my tea and my iPad watching a vlog and thought I would start filming this vlog. I don't know if I'll get any nail footage in for you guys today. That might be a little difficult. I'm doing a brand new client, so you know, sometimes you're just not gonna spring that on them. Hey, do you mind if I film this? <laughs> it always feels so weird. Hey, do you mind if I film this? You've never been here before, but can I film this? In case you murder me and I need proof, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's like, I got here at like 7.30. It's now 7.51. My first appointment is at 8.30. I really like being here an hour early. I don't know how you guys do it or how anybody else does it, but that's my jam. I like being here an hour early. I don't even have the lights on yet, so you guys are like, this is like full on ring light. I just come in, lights off, make my tea, eat my granola bar, do my thing. I feel so weird. I used the Glitter Bells Cotton Candy Brush On Builder Gel from the Nail Throne, which everything's linked down below, like the discount code and stuff. And Check it out. Look at that beautiful freaking color. Like, I love it. So I've been wearing Gel X for months, actually. Maybe closer to a year. And when I soak them off, like a regular person, they're fantastic. And when I rip them off, because as nail techs, we still rip our nails off every once in a while. I do it about, I feel like I do it once a year. And, and that's why when you come in and you're like, I don't know what happened, it just fell off and we look at it and we're like, oh, really? <laughs> it's generally because we know what it looks like. We know. we know what it looks like when you pick that stuff off, even yourself. So I actually had one that was really quite damaged. So I just put this over it and I am so in love with it. I love it, but it's really weird. It's not so weird on this hand because sometimes I don't wear nails on this hand, it's fine. But on this hand, I almost always wear nails and long nails. It's feeling pretty wild. So I'm just going to take you with me today. I don't even know what's going to be happening. Clients, of course. The weather's kind of eh. Last week, we had tan line weather. And then yesterday, we had snow. And then tomorrow, it's supposed to be like 16 again. So I'm not sure what's, I'm not sure what's happening. And it was Earth Day. I don't know if Mother Nature was just like... Having a time or, anyway, I'm rambling and it doesn't matter. What else did I want to tell you? So, I do have an order today coming for like my other job, which you guys have never actually seen. But I don't, it's not coming here and I might not bring my camera home. So, you guys might not actually see any of that. I need to water my plants before I go home today. That is something that I need to remember to do. There's a couple of drawers that I really want to clean out, but I don't even know if I want to get started on it. Like, it's just one of those projects that I feel like could snowball into something huge. What I really want to do, actually, hmm, I might take my camera home because what I really, really want to do this weekend is clean, we have two spare rooms at home. One, full of junk, right to the door. Can hardly get through, there's just a path. The other one is my office, and I cannot keep my office clean because there's not enough storage, there's not enough space. So when you hit liquidchromenails.com, that is where I keep all that stuff. So the stock packaging, oh, stock and packaging right there is enough to fill the room, but that is where I keep all that stuff. So it's just, it seems always to be messy, and I kind of would, in time, like to also make it into my makeup room, like where I actually go in, sit down and do my makeup. So I might be asking a lot out of that little tiny room, but we'll see. I kind of have in my head how I want it to look. There is a window in there, but I thought I could set up a little ring light for when there wasn't enough window light. I don't know. We're just gonna, it's in my head. It's up here floating around. But long story short, the one spare room needs to be cleaned out before the other spare room can like look decent. So I might get on that this weekend too. I have big dreams at 8 a.m. on Fridays. Follow me for more life tips. Hey, hi, how 
are ya? It's Tuesday again. It's another week. I didn't put a video out for you guys on Monday like I normally would. I legit forgot to film. It was a nice weekend and I did other things <laughs> and I actually didn't film. I think I already started this vlog. You may have seen a little bit of footage before this. If you did, great. Then I actually did start it. If you didn't, then hey, welcome back to another vlog. I'm a little disorganized with my footage. Help me water my plants. Good morning, welcome back guys. Okay, so today is a totally different day um, because I wasn't good at vlogging this week. But today, no, this weekend, I, hold on. Posted this to my Instagram and asked for help because one day I left and it was all up and like, alive looking and the next day I came in and it was all anyway so the decision was made that it needs repotted so that's what I'm gonna do right now Guess what I did? Woke up late. I didn't oversleep. I set my alarm late. I had to be here at 7.30, which means I would get up at 5.30. It takes me approximately an hour to get ready. 10 minutes to drive here. I like to be here an hour early. I set my alarm for 6.30. Not helpful. Anyway, it's no panic, because I have a few minutes after my first client, so I can get some breakfast and all that good stuff, but I started on a training program, so I kind of have a meal plan. You know, I'm not super rigid, but I kind of have a meal plan. <sighs> Let me put this down. So, as I'm coming in from the truck with my trusty Sobeys bag, I look down and realize, instead of packing my salad, I packed the entire like week's worth of chicken that goes in the salad. But I have homemade Thousand Island dressing to go with it. So that's fun. Oh, and one of these protein things. But I don't think I'm short on protein today. What? Hey guys, good morning. What's up? It is... It is Wednesday, my dudes. And if you know where that comes from, comment down below. I want you to know where that comes from. So, I have a little bit of a haul. But I'm not really gonna do a swatch part of it. The weather's weird today, the lighting is weird, it's before 7 a.m. I'm going to simply put a picture, one side or the other, up on the screen of what the color looks like. And that is the best way to show you guys what's up because my camera, the lighting, eh, I can't. So, the first two things I have, I'm going to totally cut out of this footage if I've already explained them to you because I can't remember and I don't have time this morning to go clear back through the footage and see. So if there's a big cut here, it's because I've already talked about this. But these are the two favorite things that I ordered from the nail throne. First, let's start with this. Aerosol can, really light blown, let's see if we can. There we go. Pretty pink, aerosol can. Oh, that lighting is better, oh my God. It is the C19 Pro. It's a multi-surface sanitizer. It kills enveloped viruses such as coronavirus, kills 99% of bacteria. It's antiviral and antibacterial. It is alcohol free. Okay, so it's been specially formulated to kill and or inhibit both bacteria and viruses. 
So there's quite a bit on the back here. I'll let you guys read that when you purchase it because seriously, you need to purchase it. Application, a shake can well before use, spray from a distance of approximately 20 to 40 centimeters from the surface to be treated and allow it to dry naturally. So in essence, it's like a Lysol spray. Guys, I love this. Not only is it cute as hell, but it's effective. It looks decent, I keep it right over there with kind of, I mean, I need to be able to grab that stuff, right? So I keep it right there, it's ready, it's easy to use. Door handles, um, I wipe down the armrest of the chair um, in my cleaning routine that I do after my client, but you could use that for the arms of the chair, even the seat, anything that's porous, you can use this anywhere. Do test it out though before you use it on something that's fabric. I don't want to see you ruin anything, but I've had no trouble is all I'm going to say. The next thing that I think is really super cool is this sanitizer spray. So it is 250 milliliters. It is made with ethically sourced and organic ingredients. I think that's really important and I know that's really important to a lot of you. It is a specialist product for nail professionals that helps pretend protect against fungus and bacteria on the nail plate. It sanitizes nail files, tools, and work surfaces, and it helps maintain a germ-free environment. The date of minimum durability, which I think is important because I feel like we don't often have that on products, especially like this, is 24 months. So you don't even have to worry about that. You are going to use this. It has a list of ingredients on there and amazing. So it has a really good sprayer so it's not spitting same with this no spitting like they just work really good and I'm really excited about them and I couldn't wait to try them and now that they're here I really want to share them with you let's get on to the colors quick like a bunny I don't want to waste your guys' time I don't want this to be boring Maldives Ooh, I love this one. Oh, it's so pretty you're gonna see it up on the screen I probably won't open them all but Maldives, beautiful. I actually don't have a color like this, so it was really cool to get this one. The next one I got was Mantrap. I mean, look at it. It's got me written all over it. Next up is Pinky Pink, and this is one that I really needed like a new one in. I have ones that are similar. I didn't have this exact one, but this is one that I thought needed kind of replaced or refreshed. I think the last color I have like this is probably Ugly Duckling. It's getting low. I've had it for a while. Oceanic. Mm, I love this one. I'm so glad I ordered it. I use She's Electric a lot from Glitter Bells. And I also use 190 or 191 a lot from, I think those are the numbers, correct me if I'm wrong, from Ugly Duckling that I really love as a dark blue. This one is so pretty and it's gonna look so great. You know what I'm gonna say, matte. The next one I got is Lemon Drops, which surprised me. It's more orange than what I thought it was gonna be. Still a really cool color. Lake Nights, mm, it's like a medium teal. It's not a Tiffany blue, it's not a dark teal like to me it's not a dark like gemstone teal but it's a medium teal or a medium turquoise I'm gonna say not teal I take that back teal to me is lighter turquoise is darker or deeper this is deeper pinky shake again I mean it's summer right I, we can do honey bun honey bun sweet I've already had people you know, we're going through the new colors and they're like, I love, love, love that one. I'm going to either get it or get it next time. So that one's been really fun. I have a few of these left. If you want to know what they are, you can check in my description box in my Amazon um, affiliate link, in my Amazon link. They are there. I love these. They have been a lifesaver with the Glitter Bells uh, gel polish words polished bottles I haven't had enough caffeine yet because they don't have they have this little window but that's it and when I'm looking oh pointing at the camera that's awesome when I'm looking here screen gosh for a polished color I'm like I'm lost can't find anything 
These sit right on top. They stick on there. I've had no problems with them, no problems with them falling off, any of that good stuff. That is going to conclude the vlog. I am gonna eat some breakfast, drink my tea before my client gets here. I really hope that you guys had a great day or a great week whenever you're watching this. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't, haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the bell because you never know when I'm gonna post. And it really helps the algorithm and the YouTube beast as we know it if you comment down below. See you later.